What's up guys and welcome to pre-hard mode progression. So what to do when you first install the mod. So first off you'll start off with the starter bag. It comes with a lot of items. And if you open it up you'll see what's in them. There's two modes, Revengeance mode and Death mode. Revengeance is past expert mode, and both of them can only be used when you're in expert mode. Revengeance mode gives a lot of new unique items and rage and adrenaline bars. So in a boss fight, when you get hit, the rage goes up, and when you don't get hit, the adrenaline goes up. Iron Heart makes it so, and there's also Iron Heart, which makes it so natural life regeneration is disabled. And there's also death mode, but I wouldn't really suggest you do that because it barely adds any new items. I'm pretty sure it's like two. Now, first off, you're going to want to get Wolfram metal scraps to make Wolfram armor and weapons. And after you do that, you're going to want to like do the regular progression stuff. And then you're wanna going to go to the desert, go into the, the ant lion hole thing. And then go get some ant lion mandibles. And you should find um, the... the Electric, the electric ant lions. Kill them for their, their um, mandibles. Get cactus and sand. Go to a demon altar, and you should be able to craft the desert medallion to fight the first boss. Now I suggest you make a high platform and shoot him with a piercing weapon because he is a worm. Next off, you're gonna want to kill the eye of Cthulhu, and then you're gonna want to kill the eater of worlds. After that, you should upgrade to whatever you do after eat of worlds and then build a platform above the corruption and try to look out for the hive cysts you can kill it to spawn the the um, hive mind i'm not going to be talking about crimson because i don't like it and you shouldn't either but there's another boss it's just the same thing except you kill the brain of cthulhu and then you kill the perforator cysts and then you fight that boss um, there's two version. I mean, there's two modes of the um, hive mind. First, he's stationary and he shoots uh, cursed flames at you and spawns Eater of Souls and the Devourers. And the second one, he has two phases where he rams at you and he just he um just moves towards you. So that's the two attacks of his second phase. And then you're gonna want to get Aerolite, Aerolite um armor gear. You will find that you'll find that um, underground in the cavern layer. Next, you're gonna wanna <clears throat> fight Skeletron, and then after that, you're gonna wanna get a sh obsidian key, and then go to the abyss, which is right below the sulfuric sea. You're gonna need wanna need the um, water breathing potions and the medallion if you're playing on expert mode from the desert scourge. You go down there with the shadow chests and it may not look like you can mine the abyss gravel, but you can. It just takes a while, and you need a shadow pickaxe. Or whatever the, you can make after the Eat of Worlds. I don't remember what it's called, the pickaxe. Anyway, you can get summoner weapons, you can get magic weapons, you can get weapons of all class, plus other stuff. And then you're going to want to summon the slime god. So what you do is you go down to the corruption on the surface and underground you'll find slimes. You kill them and they'll drop they'll drop um gel which you can use with with the corruption blocks at a demon altar to craft the summoning item. Now they're really the boss is hard, so you're going to have to want to put a long platform, make two of them so you can jump up if they shoot stuff at you. So, in expert mode, I'm pretty sure, both of the slimes that spawn, along with the core, the, both of the slimes split up into two mini slimes. So you're gonna get, gonna wanna use this piercing weapon, so you can shoot both of the slimes, and then when they split into four little slimes, you can kill them, since they're two. And then the core will ram at you, so just hit it with the, with the shield of Cthulhu, and eventually it'll, it'll die, and it'll drop the goods. And then you can craft the Statagel armor, um, the gung shot and the gubo, which you can use to kill the wall of flesh. It's just as simple as that. Well, thank you guys for watching the 
pre-hard mode progression guide for Calamity. And I will see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. We're almost at 20 subs. And like the video if you enjoyed. Bye-bye.